Well, a California congresswoman facing major backlash today following some controversial remarks about her Republican opponent and the Vietnamese community. Loretta Sanchez, a Democrat from Orange County, told a Spanish language TV station that, quote, the Vietnamese and Republicans are trying to take her seat. Her challenger, who is of Vietnamese descent, is now demanding an apology. Rick Fulbaum, live in our New York City studios with more on this. Hey, Rick. Hi, Megan. You know, you'd think that someone who has served in Congress for so long, almost 15 years, would know better. But there was California Democrat Loretta Sanchez giving an interview to Univision, saying something in Spanish that's causing quite an uproar. Sanchez's opponent is State Assemblyman Van Tran. He is a Vietnamese American. Here's the Congresswoman, and we've translated her comments for you. Watch. Y los vietnameses y los republicanos están uh, con una intensidad de quitar este puesto, este puesto que ya nosotros hemos hecho tanto para nuestra comunidad, quitarnos este puesto y dárselo a este Van Tran, que es muy anti-inmigrante y muy anti-hispano. The Vietnamese trying to take away the seat, the Tran campaign, jumping on this, pointing out that Tran is himself an immigrant whose family had to flee Vietnam after the fall of Saigon, and calling her remarks an attack on the entire Vietnamese community in Orange County. Van Tran's campaign manager saying that the 47th congressional district belongs to the people and not to an individual ethnicity. Now, the congresswoman's office, not apologizing, but trying to clarify, saying that Sanchez was not referring to the entire Vietnamese community in the area, only those who were supporting her opponent. They also point out that the congresswoman has a long record of supporting her district's Vietnamese community. But the damage may have already been done. The latest polls, Megan, show that Sanchez has only a two-point lead, and in a year when incumbents are already under fire, something like this could prove very costly. Back to you. Interesting. All right, Rick Fulbaum, thank you.